possibly one of the simplest yet most interesting parts of your Weebly site is the fact that it comes with a built-in mobile version. When you're in the site creator, if you head up to the right hand corner, you'll see an icon with a desktop looking computer and a mobile looking screen. If you have done a little work on your site, you have something to look at, click that mobile view icon. That takes you into a mobile emulator. Now it's really important to understand that this is a very limited emulator and it's not an exact view of what your website looks like on a mobile device. An emulator is really designed to just give you an idea of it. It's always best to test your actual website on different mobile devices to see what the content is, what's happening with the content as it reflows. Uh, another important thing to remember is that your mobile version is not an exact copy of the desktop version and if you find that you don't like the way that it looks you can turn that off so that mobile users, users will see the desktop version of your site. It will still work just fine. It won't be mobile optimized. So it's really up to you as to which you want to use. But uh, let's take a look at some of the features of this mobile emulator. For one thing, in the uh, viewport, you'll see a version of your site and you can scroll up and down to see how the content is arranged. It's important to understand that any changes that you make in the mobile view will also be made to the desktop view. So for example, if you don't like the way that your modules are arranged, you certainly can rearrange them in this view, but that will also change the way they're arranged on the desktop. So again, a really good idea to test. There are some features that come with the uh, mobile editor over in the right hand toolbar. You can change the theme and there are a variety of different themes. Just keep in mind that these are not editable right now. This is something that Weebly will probably be improving upon over time, but uh, at most you get a few color uh, variations. That's about it. So. Take them for what they're worth. They're better than nothing, but they're not highly editable. I usually go with this top theme, Legacy, just because it has the unique ability amongst all of the themes to accommodate a specific hexadecimal color. So that gives a little more um, ability to match a specific website. If we click back to mobile options, we, we were in the change mobile theme menu, but if we go just to the regular options area, there's a toggle where you can show header images or not. This is another feature that doesn't always work exactly as you would uh, expect. In some of the templates, this is supported. In some of them, it is not. So at this time, I kind of recommend leaving that off, but um, you can play around with it, see how it works for you. And then some of these other features are turned on and off depending on what plan level you have. If we go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see a little uh, option to view your website in an Android type uh, emulator. The only real difference here is the um, screen width. So again, don't take these as literal. They're just really designed to give you an idea of what your website would look on mobile. Always be sure to test it on an actual mobile device. To get back to your website editor, you'll just go back up to these toggle menus at the top, toggle buttons, and click desktop view. So that's a quick look at how the uh, mobile view can help you visualize your site on a mobile device.